Titanic, in her day the largest ocean liner ever built. Titanic the unsinkable, the indestructible. But even now, 100 years on, her name remains a byword for the greatest disaster in the history of shipping. The 46,328 tonne White Star Line steamer, 882 feet long, sailed out of her home port of Southampton on April 10, 1912, to a rousing send-off on her maiden voyage bound for New York. Four days into the crossing, on the night of Sunday, April 14, at 11.35, as the Titanic sailed through the calm North Atlantic waters, two-thirds of the way to New York and with a thousand miles still to go, disaster struck. The liner hit an iceberg between 50 and 100 feet high, striking a glancing blow which ripped open the great ship's side, rendering the watertight compartments which were supposed to make her unsinkable utterly useless. The Titanic took 2 hours and 45 minutes to sink, with the boilers blowing up just minutes before she disappeared beneath the waves. The bow went down first, the stern reared high in the air, and the giant ship plunged into the icy depths. That night, 1,300 passengers and a crew of 900, 2,200 people in all, were aboard the Titanic. A total of 1,500 perished, a third of them crew members from Southampton. Controversially, the ship was carrying just 20 lifeboats, enough to hold 1,178 people. She could actually accommodate 32, but it was decided the extra boats would make the promenade deck too cluttered for the first-class passengers. Many vessels heard the SOS transmitted by the ship's powerful wireless. The sister ship, the Olympic, picked up the message, but the Carpathia was much closer and sailed full steam ahead to the Titanic's position, only to arrive two hours after she had gone down, able only to pick up survivors from the lifeboats and ferry them on to New York.